So let's first start with the unboxing of the new M1 that we have over here. I'm, I have the MA number covered and this is pretty much it, the box. With the color, I'm going to check what color is this one, just to have an idea um, about how high it is. This is Hero Coin. And on the back, Neo with Neo Ten Sense. Just arrived this morning with a nice not surprise, even though you seem not sure if you've seen, but this is um, this unit was manufactured in May 15 and I arrived today. And today is June 2nd. So actually um, quite fast and even I asked for to be shipped with EMS instead of uh, of DHL to avoid this I mean to avoid it it's not possible to avoid customs but with uh, EMS at least they were lower than one might expect using the original and it actually came inside it they made the nail made me a nail mobile online made me a favor and um, they had it already uh, everything ready to go um, via e DHL but um, um, at the, the at my request and I will as I've mentioned this before to them, they put it uh, they inside MES and uh, haven't shipped it and didn't use um, uh, actually DHL to uh, ship it, but instead uh, EMS. <coughs> With this special arrangement, uh, that is to swap it. Uh, from uh, DHL to uh, EMS as requested I got this um, nice surprise of having to pay this is the calculus for the customs the detailed and the overall 24.72 euro even um, via EMS, if uh, if it uh, was sent, it was sent via DHL, and from my experience, I would have to pay an extra uh, 35 euros or something like that. So, the moment of truth. Let's unbox. Unbox it. So. Very carefully, getting probably this side very unnoticeably. Because I don't want to damage even the plastic. Try to take it out without. Ripping it apart, and probably this will be better than with a scissor. But for the purpose, this shall do. And yet, Let's try 
to remove it. Oh, okay, even better. Leaving the outside shell, let's say, and here you go. Almost like a book. Let's open. Ta da! We have here the tool to insert the seam because it's so thin that actually the the seam it's not taken taking out the we have we found here inside we find here inside the power adapter that's pretty much a plug with a USB connection five volts and some one pure something like that two I have to check which is the current and then we have the main unit let's take it out Is it after inside the box? We also have the usual suspect USB cable, micro USB or Type B, I think. A user manual, a new user manual, and with instructions in English. Basic attention. What it is that you can expect from an Android phone. So nothing special here. Also some troubleshooting. There are some errors. Wave radio. Does it have? Ah uh, no. Wave signal from the carrier. This is the English one, and then we have the Chinese one, or I guess it's not only manual, but instead some warranty or something like that because of this. This tempt, not filled in, but I guess it's for warranty purposes. I have a family next door that they are Chinese, I could always ask them to check that out. And the quality control, beside the micro, uh, the, the tool to, re to remove the SIM and uh, the micro SD card. Let's check the unit itself. We have, I guess this is the screen protector yeah it is but no extra on and no case so um, no mobile you only need at least a case because inside the box just protective foam protective material it's on stopping recording I don't know why and also in the original DHL that came inside nothing found here so no mobile the case is due at least and the screen protector would also be nice um, so you have it the front camera the, uh, the speaker the phone speaker and the, we have here the loudspeaker the back I've covered the sim and the two uh, placeholders for the micro the, the sim and um, and the, the micro SD in one side and on the other volume up volume down reset and it's always nice to have a reset and the power button that it's not at the top like we find many other models including the, the other one that I have here ZT V97 and we can compare them but before ending the, the final tour USB 
the microphone, the main camera, Sony, 13 megapixels and the LED, and at the bottom, the loudspeaker. At the top, we find the connection only, only the connection for earphones. The headset, better headset because it can be also microphone. Um, opposite to, it feels a little bit. Uh, well, you can see it's not well adjusted and it misses some metal protection here. This one doesn't have, but because it goes around the the case, it doesn't feel so. Sorry to say, cheap because overall it's pretty solid mobile phone. This is metal, aluminium, so quite feels very solid. The weight is very much similar. I, I don't have the values here right now, but it quits as much as. The opportunity of having to recharge the battery of the camera that I, with the, which I'm shooting this uh, review to also recharge because I never, never, ever turn on the equipment with only the um, although it comes with some char uh, charge in the the battery. It's not fully. Um, or totally empty, let that I said, but um, I always like to um, fully charge it before starting using. So, never been turned on before, it's going to be first time. Hopefully, it will turn on. At least, it show it displayed. Oh, here you go. It displayed um, the battery is signed when charging. Okay, so no SIM card, no service, emergency calls only. Also, the time. Only wake ups with uh, no, only with uh, power power button. It is it wake up. So I'm going to place the sim and turn it on again. Let me just well responds very well despite. Um, Actually, it didn't start with uh, the normal welcome, insert Google, probably if I, oh yeah, here it goes, so let's go home, it responds quite well, oh, very nice, I was having uh, lots of issues with this, um, oh, even just opening here the status with the ZTE and this one is actually working fine some intro to the database to the photography scroll to view more capture modes okay so pretty much and then to zoom it okay zoom in zoom out so going to stop now phone is ringing get back later using the num1 for some days now quite an impressive autonomy uh, if we have in mind that uh, it has a 2000 milliwatts uh, battery but also one major fact is that um, I, I still don't have a sim on it because it requires a micro sim um, actually i've taken out here i'm going to take the the sim 
one of these the main ones and um, I have to cut it and to be a micro sim one so that it can run on this so actually been just running in um, Wi-Fi wi -Fi mode and well as VoIP and for VoIP you don't need um, a sim also my one single sim dual sim the, the ZT e, um, V97 so a quick test now let me turn them both at the same time turn them on and let's see compare the start startup time of both both are quad core um, they should have a similar um, performance although this one has lots and lots of stuff of stuff um, installed and this one is recent I unlocked both of them so to be in equal and CG is still powering on and we have M1 already power for some time checking the email also this one has both uh, Gmail and Outlook running okay I place both of the, the backgrounds exactly the same and you can see that this although this is quite an impressive both the resolutions are the same uh, HD that's uh, 1280 uh, times 700p uh, 720 sorry and um, both are at the time with uh, the screen the bright the brightness set to automatic let me set this one to the minimum that's about 10 percent also to this one the the screens the background is not exactly the same should be this one in fact so even though and this one still perform I think a little better let's put in 50 percent that's half of it again in the with the same back that's this and let's put it to the maximum so sorry maximum and there you go this actually being in um, uh, in automatic mode the the then and the m1 at night i have to, to place it to, to put it in automatic or at least uh, or, or uh, usually at the, the 10 percent minimum because it's uh, way too bright okay and it also um, can trick a little bit regarding pictures because they seem quite great here and when you go through to the pc you won't display um, so nice okay so also uh, I had some other equipment here but this is completely out of probably the uh, Nokia N, N7 N97 mini that I have but I don't have it here will be the, the best comparison um, a small required and quite uh, small big uh, luckily it's all uh, now um, standardized regarding but although um, regarding the, the power supply I mean um, all of them 5 volts but ideally ideally each battery uh, has a, a proper um, amperes uh, charger and I'm seeing this one and it seems to be uh, one ampere out this one is more it's at least two or something like that and um, so you should really use the proper one so if it's one ampere you should uh, use this one so, but the problem is that and a, quite a fail if you see this adapter to charger it won't fit any of the standards around here and I think 
the European is the same. Doesn't fit here. And I have another one. Doesn't fit here. It seems that it fit, but then it doesn't. Okay? And this is the same. So I have to use, in fact, uh, an American power adapter. Uh, uh, I mean, not American, the, the plug adapter from the, sta the, the European to the States to place this uh, on it. It's not a good solution, but the only one I can I get working. So please, uh, now take a look at this. Don't send this because these just don't fit anywhere in our European plugs, or at least here in Portugal. I think it's uh, the same for all European. Okay, so next I'm going to take it, uh, take it out, uh, to the outside I mean, and uh, do a quick test about how uh, the hot, hot fix um, GPS, GPS hot fix to see uh, how long does it take. I've been testing all the e-compass, uh, the Giro, everything is working perfectly. This one, uh, actually the ZT, I have a problem with it. Because, um, well, uh, not going into details, but the the sensors are gone. That sensors, uh, GPS works, but the sensors don't anymore. Uh, one thing that uh, I'm used to be the the back button to be this one, and in now in um, now M1, it's this one. Okay, and it's a little bit confusing uh, because I. Like this here, but um, this one. But I think it's a problem with the, the, the display. It does. It's not so so responsive. And um, when when I mean when standing um, horizontally, vertically it responds fine. But horizontally, the ZT doesn't respond that well. And you, as you can see. Um, the uh, nail performs quite well but just to have an idea <laughs> I have way too many apps installed in GTE also uh, some already in uh, in nail okay so let's take it outside and I'm going to run in both um, I think I have GPS test running here. Oops, sorry. So Android TS GPS test, and now it's off. And going to perform the same uh, GPS testing. Here a different name, but I, I believe it's the same product. Uh, in both of them uh, different versions but for testing purpose should uh, be the same okay so be back in a second and test this outside windy day outside a windy day today I mean so let me turn both uh, GPS on So they should be on right now in both waiting. So let me get here to a more open area in the balcony. I must remind uh, the, the city is already find found uh, 11 satellites in view and we have uh, three in uh, now and one but I must say that let me change actually it was this 
this view here the shots are different but I must say that uh, the ZTE is rooted so it has a, an accurate uh, it applied a, a time a time server from here from Europe so it's faster because of that the, the M1 is not root so it takes longer but as you can see we have a green so everything okay already in the M1 and the ZT stills um, stills yellow still with the yellow it's not yet locked it hasn't locked yet the the GPS also the, the compass not working here it doesn't help and now we got fell to sleep oh it was a week already so okay I think it's not necessary to, to wait more because we've seen that M1 even not having not the um, proper time server or faster one uh, it has already locked much faster than the ZT okay so I'm going to, to take out the ZT and perform some funny street view things let me open maps here so When I have maps, probably it's better if I go here and get it. Should be around here somewhere. Okay, sorry. And I'm going to activate. Let me put this some other way. I'm going to activate. Street view. Okay. So, loading address. And there you go. Street view isn't available here. Why? Should be. Okay, putting the address. Meanwhile, um, okay, street view. It's not exactly in front, but let me get to the area where I am now. So to activate the compass and you'll see it's quite some old more than three years I guess. Okay. So this is actually here in front. Um, I'm going to activate uh, the there you go. Okay, because I have to. I'm not sure if you're going to able to see it, but this is pretty much what uh, in the direction when the, what I'm seeing outside. Uh, let me take a camera, and it's a little bit hard to show, but very very accurate. The direction and uh, not exactly uh, how it is now. These cars are not here now, but pretty much, very, very much uh, accurate regarding the. the I believe it's uh, not a magnetic one, but instead the the direction. I mean, um, just another quick test. 
is to compare the readability against, well, the reference that's Kindle. So let me go to the sun and yeah, we just can't compare but e-ink is completely different technology so we just cannot compare one thing to the other even this with One to the others. Here, and when I get to the sun, that, that's not a fair comparison, is it? A completely different story. So, uh, being the actually the, the mobile phone and M1, very usable. Quite bright display, sharp colors, and we have here a five mega megapixels uh, front camera. That's a, that's great camera. Um, despite the photos aren't so sharp, uh, if we say that the Ga Samsung Galaxy S5 has a 2.1 mega megapixels, despite Samsung has uh, 16. And it records, uh, records 4K videos. That's Ultra HD. This one has uh, IMAX Sony uh, 13 megapixels and very very bright LED. The flash, let's say, flash LED is quite bright. You really lights up the room. Um, and pretty much from uh, just a quick test, uh, um, I not sure. Well, we can do this one. I was seeing the earth compass. Let me take the Kindle apart. And all this stuff works pretty well. The, I mean, the sensors. I don't uh, I installed the, the program that tests the sensors, but everything working perfectly. The ones that it has, uh, there are some that uh, they don't if it doesn't have them um, if it doesn't has it's not possible so you see here if you want to level your washing machine you have a good app here um, and all the, the other stuff okay So let me just check the system. This is the Android. Uh, we don't have yet Windows Mobile for our phones for M1. Um, so, but looking forward to it. Okay, this is Android 42. Okay, thank you. Next, I'd like to conduct is the speed test internet download and upload speed test. So, just to make sure we are connected to the same network in both that's an hotspot run by um, my HP laptop. And going back to Ookla, I'm going to call Ookla speed test and Let's run. I confirm that the, both of them are connected. I can see it in the laptop, and let's perform again this one. Perform the speed test in both. Probably it's better to do a couple of runs, but. As you can see, we have. It's not because I'm reviewing N one M one. It's just what I'm getting. And I, I thought of this because um, Galaxy S five has some good technology to combine both 
uh, 4G, LTE and and Wi-Fi and we have here some well almost the double uh, indifference and uh, half of the time uh, milliseconds for the ping time so let's perform again and this time I'm going to start CT1 first just in case it got M1, M1 was benefited, uh, have some benefit from starting first but you can see that that's not the case although oh yes <laughs> upload it really makes a difference because uh, actually uh, the first one is taking the bandwidth for upload so and what the, va the values are we have now are not so different um, well they still there's still a little bit uh, a lot um, of to the not the devil because this one was already downloading but even so uh, the funny thing because actually they are using the same the bandwidth at the same time so but so in fact this should be the double that I'm getting here yeah probably uh, even so so let's just start one of them at a time probably it's better a better ah, okay a better test than being run having them both run at the same time although uh, it's also important because you, you usually you are not alone in a in a wireless network or in uh, even if it's private you have some other equipment accessing so they are battling for bandwidth this is actually um, I'm connected by wireless but the connection here it's a brand new fiber connection with the 50 down 5 up so we have the values for let's now perform with GT And there you go okay also reaching reaching higher values but in a case of conflict let's say this one m1 takes the lead i believe they are using the same server in porto that's about 50 miles from here 70 kilometers and actually it getting better values this time for download I mean upload M1 still ahead if you have some other tests that you'd like to me to perform please place it in comments and I'll, I'll do it as up okay thank you